Hey guys, what's up? I Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with my next video and we're going to take a look at some Town Hall 9 Gola Loon attacks because that's something that kind of faded out for the most part for a while when Valks got popular but I think the combination of the new level 4 Lava Hound as well as the um, as base builders just getting a little uh, sloppy and kind of selling out too much to defend against Valks the combination of those two factors has kind of brought this attack strategy back and I think it's something that you guys can use more for those of you Town Hall 9s out there. Uh, so I want to show a few attacks. There was a number of them on this last war that I could show. But I'm just going to show the two against kind of their better bases. Because there was some uh, forearm anti-2 type bases. Uh, that There's no point showing the attack on them. So we'll take a look at two today. And the first one is being done by Bora. Coming in with two golems. Has the level 4 Lava Hound in the CC. And at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say, assuming you have level 4 golems, uh, bring that Lava Hound in the CC. Bring your own golems, because you're getting a two level, uh, two levels extra if you bring the Lava Hound in the CC, as opposed to bringing a golem in the CC, where you only get one extra level than what your regular troops are. So anyway, Queen goes down, takes out some of these buildings, golems moving in, there's the jump, going to let everything into the Queen into that second air defense nice and late on the king remember that's how you want to do it keep that king healthy uh, the queen is back behind the wall but she does come around and the rage helps everything take out the balloons the dragons uh, there's a few wizards in there I can't stress this enough and this is something that people don't say much but the wizards are very key if you can sneak like one or two of them inside the base especially with that rage they do a ton of damage and help with the CC troops especially air troops if the queen's not in the area so keep that in mind but the king does great he because he, he waited so late on the king, he gets in there, he's going to take out the queen, uh, that air defense, and uh, he goes down right there. But there goes the level 4 Lava Hound. You can see how much bigger that is than the, the level 2 Lava Hound. Pretty cool stuff. It's like kind of reddish too. Um, but it tanks for a long time, especially when it's just one air defense on it and a, a Town Hall 9 level air defense. Has the rages and the hastes to keep everything moving. Uh, his queen is still going, taking out that air sweeper, which is huge because that sweeper is pointed towards his uh, air part of the attack so before she goes down she gets that which will help out the attack quite a bit there's that last haste to keep those balloons moving and a few more uh, balloons for the back end of the base mainly targeting these archer towers which is what you want to do they're a big threat don't worry about the cannons and the mortars as much because uh, all they are is kind of a little bit of a time waster for your balloons so anyway a ton of lava pups still up it would have been nice to have something for the bottom here if he had like a wizard or a minion that's something I, I like to bring because a lot of times uh, the split is just like this where you have all your troops at the top but you still have a few buildings at the bottom so uh, he has to wait quite a bit we'll fast forward times four as everything moves around takes a bit of time but he has the time especially when there's no sea sealer just going straight into the base Gets the three star awesome attack to Bora. All right, we're gonna take a look at one more. Like I said, uh, number twenty seven is the base. We are looking at uh, oh Bora again. I didn't even make this connection when I was uh, picking these out, but uh, awesome job, dude. And this time he's coming in with just one golem. It looks like I assume there's a lava hand in the CC. If I remember correctly, uh, that one golem goes down, taking quite a bit of damage here. All four of those point defense are on it. So has to get the queen. The wizard's down quickly to take advantage of that golem while it's tanking. I like how early he gets the queen down. Let her do that damage. Let her start shooting down these defenses. Uh, awesome poison on the queen because typically you only need one poison for the CC. And so far people haven't figured out how to use the skeleton spell. So people are bringing two poisons, which is why it makes sense to use one on the queen early there. Take some of the damage away. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. comes out. It does get one hit off on the king, but pops the ability. He mows right through it. And uh, both the heroes still sitting back, taking out bonus defenses, because like we say at Town Hall 9, when you bring that one golem and your heroes, all you really technically need is the air defense and the queen, but it definitely helps, and it gives you a better chance to get into 3-star if you get the bonus defenses like that air sweeper, like Teslas, Expos, Wizard Towers, Archer Towers, anything that's a threat to your balloons is good to take out as well. So you can adjust the angle you come in at based on trying to get those extra bonus defenses. Uh, kind of overlaps in the spells there a little bit. Not sure if that was intentional. The haste and the rage kind of in the same place. Uh, but whatever, no big deal. He did a great job with his deployment of everything else, so it doesn't matter. Still has that fourth Lava Hound coming in, and uh, that's a lot of tanking. With the level four Lava Hound, if you have three other Lava Hounds of your own, 
that's a lot for a base to handle, and that's doing a great job uh, so far in the attacks I've seen uh, of taking out a Town Hall 9 base, even a maxed out one. So anyway, uh, I like how he saves a balloon, also has the wizard, so saving a little bit for cleanup, because one thing that people kind of disregard is time. Uh, you can get through the base, but you have to be able to have some spread on your troops. So there goes that one balloon on that high HP building, then not, not a lot of troops are nearby. Meanwhile, his big group of balloons goes uh, to the town hall, which is great. They take that out really quickly, and they split on both those uh, storages. So awesome attacks to Bora. Uh, both of them were his. I didn't realize that at first. But there were a few more I'm just not going to show because they were on some uh, less anti-3-ish type bases. So anyway, uh, if you see this in war, you know, that the base builder is getting a little bit sloppy. They are, uh, you know, putting those air defenses close to the queen. You can do an air attack, even use dragons. Uh, I've seen that a little bit too, but mainly because of the level 4 Lava Hound, that's how you want to go with some kind of Go La Loon attack. Kind of old-fashioned, but it works very well. So look for that in your next war if it's there. A nice alternative to Valks, keeping Town Hall 9 interesting. So very fun stuff there. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisect the turn out.